Roy Chubby Brown is a British stand-up comedian and actor celebrated for his bold and controversial comedic style. Throughout the 1980s, he achieved national recognition, becoming a prominent figure in British comedy. His audacious material combined with flamboyant stage presence, featuring gaudy suits and a trademark flat cap, contributed to his iconic status. Facts First UK presents Roy Chubby Brown Speaks Out After His Shows Get Cancelled. Early Life and Career Roy Chubby Brown's early life was marked by humble beginnings. Raised in a blue-collar family, he started his professional life as a welder. But a twist of fate led him to discover his true calling, comedy. In the 1970s, he took to the club circuit, honing his craft with a unique and unapologetic comedic style that set him apart. His material, characterized by explicit content and a fearless approach to taboo subjects, quickly gained attention, attracting both fans and critics. The 1980s marked his rise to national prominence. His larger-than-life personality, flamboyant stage presence, complete with flashy suits and a distinctive flat cap, became synonymous with his comedic brand. Despite facing criticism for his explicit content, Brown's popularity soared, and he became a household name in the UK. His ability to connect with a specific audience segment that appreciated his audacious humor played a crucial role in solidifying his place in the comedy landscape. His stand-up comedy often delves into topics considered off-limits by many. His fearless exploration of controversial subjects paired with a sharp wit challenges societal norms, and pushes the boundaries of what's deemed acceptable in mainstream comedy. While some view his material as offensive, others admire his unfiltered and irreverent approach, applauding him for his ability to resonate with those who appreciate his distinct comedic style. He's also ventured into acting, showcasing his versatility as a performer. In 1997, he appeared in the film The League of Gentlemen's Apocalypse and took on a role in the TV series The League of Gentlemen. On a personal level, he's faced his share of challenges. His marriages and personal life have been subject to public scrutiny, adding layers of complexity to his public persona. Despite the controversies, he remains true to his roots. Proudly representing his working-class background and embracing the authenticity that defines his comedic style. His career is a testament to his enduring appeal and resilience in the face of criticism. His ability to adapt to changing comedic landscapes while staying true to his unique style, has contributed to his longevity in the industry. Roy Chubby Brown Gets Cancelled Roy Chubby Brown's style of comedy is distinctive, unapologetic, and often controversial, making him a polarizing figure in stand-up. His comedic approach is characterized by explicit language, risque subject matter, and a fearless willingness to explore taboo topics that others might shy away from. Brown's humor is raw, earthy, and firmly rooted in his working-class background, allowing him to connect with audiences who appreciate his no-holds-barred style. One notable aspect of his career is his extensive catalog of stand-up albums. These recordings capture the essence of his live performances, showcasing his bold and audacious humor. Albums like Take Fat and Party, Bad Taste, and Stocking Filler have become classics in the world of British comedy. These releases not only solidify his status as a seasoned stand-up comedian, but also offer fans an opportunity to experience his unique brand of comedy beyond the live performances. Despite his popularity, Roy Chubby Brown has faced challenges and controversies throughout his career, including being banned from performing at certain clubs and venues. The banning often stems from the explicit nature of his material, which some find offensive and inappropriate. Brown's refusal to conform to conventional standards of political correctness has led to clashes with venue owners and organizers who deem his content as crossing the line. The banishments, however, have not deterred Brown's career, but rather have added to his notoriety and fueled his appeal among a specific demographic. His banned status has, in a way, become a badge of honor for those who appreciate his unfiltered and daring comedic style. Brown's loyal fan base sees him as a symbol of resistance against the increasing sensitivity of modern comedy, valuing his authenticity and fearlessness in addressing subjects that others might avoid. While some critics argue that his comedy perpetuates stereotypes and is offensive, others argue that it serves as a reflection of the working-class experience, providing a voice for those often overlooked 
in mainstream entertainment. Brown's willingness to challenge societal norms and push boundaries has made him a lightning rod for discussions about free speech and the limits of humor. In addition to his albums and controversial reputation, Brown's onstage persona is a crucial element of his comedic style. His flamboyant outfits, often featuring his flashy suits and distinctive cap, contribute to the larger-than-life image he presents to audiences. The visual aspect of his performances complement the boldness of his humor, creating a memorable and immersive experience. His comedic style may not be for everyone, but his impact on the comedy scene is undeniable. Roy Chubby Brown speaks out after his shows get canceled. Roy Chubby Brown has been vocal about his confrontations with cancel culture, attributing his bans from certain venues to what he perceives as an increasingly pervasive woke culture. As a result, he's become a symbol of resistance against what he sees as restrictions on free speech and the stifling of comedic expression. In various interviews and public statements, Brown has expressed his frustration with what he views as an overreach of political correctness. He contends that the rise of woke culture, characterized by heightened sensitivity to social issues and a desire to promote inclusivity, has made it difficult, increasingly, for comedians to navigate the boundaries of acceptable content. Brown argues that comedy, by its nature, involves pushing boundaries and challenging societal norms. He asserts that the current climate of heightened sensitivity has led to self-censorship among comedians, inhibiting their creative freedom and diluting the essence of stand-up comedy as a form of irreverent and unfiltered expression. The comedian claims that his material, which is often explicit and confrontational, has become a lightning rod for critics who argue that it perpetuates stereotypes and crosses the line of acceptability. But Brown staunchly defends his approach. He asserts comedy should be a space where uncomfortable topics are explored and no subject is off-limits. He maintains that the landscape of comedy has changed, making it increasingly challenging for comedians to perform without the fear of backlash. He also says that the fear of being canceled or ostracized has led to a chilling effect, with comedians second-guessing their material and avoiding potentially controversial topics. He sees himself as a casualty of a culture that, in his view, values political correctness over the raw and unfiltered nature of comedy. While some may argue that Brown's comedy is outdated and offensive, others see him as a defiant figure challenging the constraints imposed by an increasingly sensitive society. Roy Chubby Brown's outspoken criticism of cancel culture and woke sensibilities reflects his commitment to preserving the tradition of unfiltered and boundary-pushing comedy. The debate surrounding his views highlights the ongoing tension between the principles of free speech and the evolving expectations for responsible and respectful expression in comedy. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you grow up watching Roy Chubby Brown's performances? Did you ever catch him on the club circuit? Let us know in the comments section below.